I'm Dr. Vince Diorcas, partner at Neurological Associates of Long Island and the director of neurology at St. Francis Hospital in Roslyn, New York. Janice, will we begin the infusion treatments? Janice first began treatments in January of 2023 under what's known as an IND with the Federal Drug Administration investigating a novel drug therapy, and she's been receiving monthly treatments since that time. What changes have you with respect to Janice's cognitive abilities, I've seen a significant improvement uh, since starting the therapy. Her state is obviously quite advanced, so what we're looking for is not the typical kind of changes we see in the early Alzheimer's patient, but rather her ability to function with independence, with simple tasks, and that has definitely improved over time. So the current state of affairs of Alzheimer's dementia is a bit limiting. Most neurologists are utilizing therapies that really just change the chemical nature of the brain but are not actually acting on the underlying process of the disease itself. There are a few novel therapies which have recently hit the market that seem to target some of the known chemical um, origins of Alzheimer's dementia. Unfortunately, these novel therapies are very much directed at very early Alzheimer's patients. Janice is a very advanced patient, and presently there are no therapies on the market uh, or therapies really undergoing investigation with clinical trials for patients with advanced Alzheimer's type dementia. The way this therapy works is we take the patient's own white blood cells, and in particular, a very special kind of white blood cell called a natural killer cell, or NK cell, and those NK cells are withdrawn from the patient from a simple blood draw. They're then taken and processed in such a way that the number of NK cells is augmented or multiplied into the billions, and those NK cells are then enhanced and transfused back into the patient. So this is not a drug, but rather the patient's own natural blood products. Those NK cells then travel into the brain where they reduce the amount of inflammation that is being propagated by the Alzheimer's syndrome. And by reducing the inflammation in the brain, the hope is that we can improve the connections and synaptic pathways in the brain that allow the neurons to do what they need to do. Following these infusions, the NK cells are traveling into the brain, and in Janice's case, the hope here is that as inflammation in the brain is reduced and the synaptic pathways hopefully are strengthened, that Janice's neuronal circuits are working better and she is therefore able to perform activities at a slightly higher ability than she would have been before. After Janice receives the infusion, her own NK cells, which have now been multiplied and enhanced, uh, will travel into her brain where they'll begin to mitigate some of the inflammation that we know is present in the brain. And by reducing that inflammation, the hope is we can improve the neuronal circuits, improve the electrical transmission of flow, and thereby improve Janice's ability to perform activities. Unfortunately for patients with advanced Alzheimer's type dementia, there are not many available treatment options on the market. The standard two therapies, denepazil and memantine, which have been around for decades, are the same therapies that we've been giving patients with early disease that we provide to late disease patients, though the efficacy at those stages are far less. Unfortunately, there is no therapy presently available that's specifically for patients with advanced Alzheimer's type dementia. Presently for advanced Alzheimer's type dementia, there's unfortunately no available therapy that will help promote patients' day-to-day -day functioning, including their ability to independently perform their activities of daily living. While in patients with advanced Alzheimer's dementia, it's extremely difficult to objectively follow their improvement, in Janice's case, it's been extraordinarily rewarding and meaningful to see her and her family back in the office telling me about her improvement with her walking, improvement with her function, as well as her ability to communicate simple things that she's been unable to do in the past. It's so incredibly meaningful and rewarding for me to see Janice and her family back in the office telling me about her improved overall function, her energy, and her ability to communicate, and things that they have not seen in her in quite some time. I think it's extraordinarily important that we continue to investigate and uh, evaluate new and potential therapies for this particular population of Alzheimer's patients. It's unfortunate that for our patients who are the most disabled, we have the least number of therapies. And I think in this particular case, we perhaps are finally opening up the door to a treatment modality that we've never seen before. Jay Scansaroli. S C A N S A R O L I.
before she was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, we noticed some spatial issues in Janice's handwriting. Um, and we also noticed a little bit of difficulty in uh, remembering things that she had always uh, brought to mind quickly that she wasn't able to bring to mind as quick as she had in the past. Okay. And actually Janice was diagnosed with Alzheimer's in 2013 after an examination at Columbia Presbyterian Hospital here in New York City. We learned about the NK natural killer cell Im Im immunization therapy through a meeting we had with representatives from NK Max in the city um, right, right around 2020. Okay. Um, Janice was relatively far advanced when we uh, connected for some treatments with the treatments. Um, she was, um, uh, had her memory declined, had progressed. Her uh, balance and mobile abilities um, and able to move around, do things for herself, had deteriorated pretty significantly. Um, and we were generally getting concerned uh, with her state. Um, having been diagnosed in 2013, um, we went for a period of time with very slow, uh, but, um, but continued decline. And when we got to 2020, we felt we needed to think about ways to help her. I think there's a number of things that we've seen, um, starting with her mobile abilities, her ability to walk, her ability to uh, um, um, you know, stand by herself, uh, and things of that nature. We've seen some memory improvement in terms of things that we were, she was unable to recall, that she started to recall uh, again. Um, she was able to attend functions with the family that, um, we were not necessarily engaging her in, in you know, at that point in time when we started the treatments. Um, and I think it, most importantly, I think, was her ability to interact with her uh, grandchildren and her children on a more regular basis. Can you describe the process? You needed FDA approval to do a clinical trial in the United States. You can't do it. Without a, without a without the FDA's approval, so you file, you give them the research, you give them all of those type of things, and then the FDA reviews and approves it. Yeah. Once that once we got that approval, we were then able to have Janice treated locally, which was a big deal for us. Okay. I think that the well the treatments have meant a lot to the family, because if we had continued where we were headed. I think we would have been in a pretty bad state by this point. And I think what the treatments uh, uh, did, in my opinion, were to allow her to do things that she wasn't able to do before and continue to improve in some areas, which, it, in my judgment, we, we would not have had. Uh, and I think it would have, that would have affected us very negatively if she had continued to progress uh, in, in a downward fashion. And, and I think we're seeing some, some genuine improvements in Janice's condition as a result of the treatments which started in January of 2023. Overall decline. It's funny, Janice, I was surprised. Her Janice's overall decline and the pace of her decline was surprising to me. When she was first diagnosed, I expected that her decline would be very rapid. And when she was diagnosed, my questions were, how long do we have? not realizing that in some cases, particularly in women perhaps that get Alzheimer's at an earlier age, some of them have a, a very slow progression. So Janice's progression has been over a 10 year period, slow but steady decline. And, you know, and, and we've gone from being able to live normally to losing some of that along the way since 2013 you know, to the current date. Um, and I think the initial treatments we had in 2020 showed improvements that were remarkable, very frankly. And then re-engaging now in 2023 under FDA approval locally was a big deal for us. And, um, and we're seeing some improvements in a number of different areas uh, since re-engaging in the treatments starting in January. What specific improvements? Since we restarted treatments, in uh, January of 2023, uh, I think that some of the areas of improvement were 
and Janice's ability to um, walk without assistance, to make eye contact, to engage with people. Uh, she's been able to uh, actually come up with sentences that when she says them, we all laugh and enjoy them. Um, so, so we see continued you know, um, progress being made, and, and hopefully as we continue with the treatments, we'll continue to see improvements. How long um, been before? I, I think that if we continue to make progress and the treatments continue to do what we've seen in the past, um, I think that, that we want to get her to the point where she will uh, be able to continue to engage with uh, more and more and enjoy the family and our grandchildren. All right. Uh, Janice and I were childhood sweethearts met in high school. Both went to parochial schools in Queens and met on a boat ride to Rye Playland, which was an annual event for the high schools. We will be married 50 years next year. So we've had a great life uh, uh, together, and we continue to have a great life together. Different, but it, uh, a great life. We've had three great children, nine grandchildren. Uh, we have close family, all who are relatively close, and we're very close to them and to others. We have great friends, um, and you're looking at uh, two Queens kids that grew up together and uh, married and have had a great life. You know that you know that there's there's as we th as Janice and I think about this, and have talked to people, including her neurologist and people at NK Max, we fully recognize that there really is nothing yet to um, help people with advanced stage Alzheimer's, and if this natural killer immunotherapy treatment, through our use of it. And, and our trial can prove that this could be of help to others. To us, that's a very important part of this. Yeah, Janice is, is a tough cookie, and I think Janice uh, has been very courageous in what she's been going through and what she's putting herself through and what we're putting her through as it relates to the treatments. And uh, you know, I think we're doing that for us, we're doing it for Janice, and hopefully we're gonna, it's going to be of some help to others that are in the same state.